Alright, I'm back with another video and I've hijacked the Pudge and Stuff site. Kind of going on this, uh, doing this solo because my girlfriend's at work and I got home a little earlier so I thought, I'm hungry. I'm going to go ahead and cook this up. That way it'll be ready when she gets home. But uh, I was at the store nosing around. This was on sale. Uh, boneless chicken breast. I got two of them. About two pounds and I was checking this out something to kind of mix in with it give it a little flavor Zatarains I've tried this there are other uh, styles very good got a bit of a spicy flavor to them of course a little heat but uh, this looks pretty good Cajun chicken flavored rice and it's new and uh, I'm gonna give it a whirl so shows here I'm going to need about uh, two and a quarter cups of water because this is dried rice and it's going to soak all that up. That uh, liquid is going to soak right up into this rice. And uh, they're actually saying uh, boiling water and uh, I don't know, simmer it for about 25 minutes. But you know what? I think I'm going to go, because this chicken is not frozen, and oops, and also I'm putting some pinto beans in there. Kind of give it a little fiber action, it's reduced sodium, um, because this right here I'm sure has packed with some salt, so, um, anyway, the only reason I'm going to cook this for about 12 minutes is just because, of course, to cook the chicken up, because like I said, it's not frozen. I figured about 12, 12 minutes on, I don't know, I'll go 15, 15 on this, because I'm going to chop this up a little bit, and it'll cook a lot faster, and of course, really, a lot of it has to depend on this uh, rice, because it's got to absorb all the moisture and cook up too, and usually, if you're just cooking rice, you usually set the pressure cooker for about 8 minutes. And it comes out pretty darn tender, but uh, because I have the chicken, like I said, I'm going to go 15. That's what we're going to do. So, I'm going to get this all prepared, and I'll be back in a few minutes. Alright, I've diced up the two pieces of uh, chicken, boneless chicken breast. Like I said, there's about two pounds there. And I'm going to add the pinto beans, liquid and all. And uh, it says two cups of water, but I'm putting in two cups of chicken broth because I had some left over from a past recipe that I made. So I had a little bit of that left. And now we're just going to toss this in. And it smells good already. <laughs> Okay. Hmm. Look at that. Yeah. Shoo. You just know there's a lot of salt in that already. But you know what? What do we got here? Oh, let's see. Sodium. Yeah, it's for about 400 milligrams. You know, I'm not even going to add salt. So, I'm going to do that afterwards to, to taste. But you know what? And I know this is probably going to have a little bite to it because it's Cajun. But, I'm going to still bump it up a little bit. Put a little bit of uh, crushed red pepper in there. And, uh, let's see here. Use this to stir it up. This thing's great for tearing the chicken apart once it's all cooked up because it's so tender. You can just get it in there and do this and it'll just pull right apart. So instead of messing up a, a spoon or something right now, I'm just going to go with this and we'll mix this up here like so. Make sure it's all off the side there. Get a good mix going. So, 
Okay, I've added everything I need. I'm not going to add no salt, like I said, because something tells me it's going to be just fine with the salt already there. Okay, I'm going to cook this on high, yep, 15 minutes. It's all preset right there. And when that starts, stops blinking, then you get the little lights doing their thing. That means it's warming up and it's building up pressure. And when that stops winding like that, then that means it's up to pressure and up to temperature and then the countdown starts. Now, I'm going to make sure this is back closed so that it'll build up pressure. And lid's locked. We'll set it back and back in just a little bit, see how it turned out. Okay, it's been 15 minutes. Now let's see what we got. I, I let the pressure out. Now I can safely open the lid. And of course, I'm going to move this out of the way a little bit because this steam is going to come flying out of here and it's going to mess up the lens on my camera. So I don't want to do that. Ah, yeah. Hot, hot, hot. All right. Here's the goods. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, that looks good. Very, very good. Now, take my little masher here. And, I don't know, you could leave it chunky, but hey, I just kind of prefer it to be smashed up a bit. Because actually, I am going to make a wrap with it. Oh boy, that smells good. There we go. I don't want to get too carried carried away, and I don't want to smash up the uh, pinnacle beans. So take care, serrated, so I can just get the good stuff and not liquids. And I'm going to put it on this wrap. In fact, I'm going to move this over here a little bit. Put this wrap down. Just a little bit of that. Don't take much. Right there. Now, I love hot sauce. This is probably going to be a little spicy anyway, being Cajun, but I'm into the hot sauce. Yeah, you could probably put a little sour cream on there or uh, shredded chicken. Or shredded chicken. Hello. Shredded cheese. Maybe a little bit of sour cream, guacamole, whatever you want. But I kind of like mine like this. And uh, nothing fancy. But I'm telling you what, this is super hot. Super, super hot. So here we go. I'm going to try it. Mmm. Good stuff. Alright, that's it. There's another quick easy one for you to try. Hey, give it give it a whirl, see what you think. You know, this just starts you off. You can go from there, so we'll catch you later.